Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. <sighs> Today has been a stressful day. Very, very stressful. But, you know, sometimes that happens and you just figure out a way to get over it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go look for some asparagus. Uh, last time I was here, there was one, he's about that tall. Uh, not saying there wasn't more, but that was the only one I found. So we're gonna go back and look again. Uh, we had a little bit of cool weather, might have stunted it a little bit, but it's been meh today, so we'll see what we got going on. Here's the one I let grow last time. You can come with me, buddy. Uh, now, if there's one, surely there's another one. So, let's see if we can find some more. Well, thought surely there'd be more than one, but you know, take one. Make me a good snack on my way over to the farm. Oh, okay, so today we are gonna go to the dairy. We're gonna shoot some starlings. I'm gonna hopefully concentrate on that, get my mind off some things. So that's the plan for today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. I was gonna do a roulette challenge because I had all my 12 gauges with me. Not all of them, I had a bunch of them. I'm gonna pick one of the shotguns, I'm not sure which. Throw a shot cam on it, and we're just gonna go try and shoot some stuff. But I do wanna do some challenges this summer, so I need you guys to tell me what kind of challenges you need to see. Do I need to do homemade decoys? Do I need to do five shot, 10 shot? I did get another shot cam. Uh, this one, this one right here. They redid their box, by the way. Check this out. So the old one, get all my new stuff out of the way here. The old one only had a spot for this, this, and this. And the tool just laid on top. This one has a spot for the tool now. A little bit nicer. I might get another box though that I can put two of them in and not have to have all, you know, two boxes laying around. But uh, I do have another one now so I can do some 1v1 stuff uh, with people at the dairy and you can actually see the shots they're taking, which I thought was kind of missing from the previous ones I've done. So there's some of those options. I talked to a couple kids from the local trap and skeet team. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to take out some high schoolers and get absolutely demolished by them? I'm hoping I can hold my own, but you know, they're good shots. They're good at shooting stuff that goes in a straight line though. Well, straight line. Uh, I imagine they'll probably be pretty good at shooting birds too, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I got that sort of in my mind. Tell me, what do you want to see? I do have an air gun also. Uh, I'm waiting for the distributor to get a hold of me. It's been a hot minute though. Uh, last I checked in, they told me they're still waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for, but I'm supposed to be getting an air gun here before too long. So that's also supposed to happen. But anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go to the dairy and shoot some birds. There's birds, not a ton. They are here. One thing I'm gonna have to be really, really, really careful about is there are a bunch of blackbirds mixed in with all of these starlings that I'm gonna go after here. So, in case you guys are new and don't know about this whole starling shooting thing, uh, the reason I hunt starlings here at the dairy is because they are, there's several reasons. The first one is it's an invasive species. Uh, they are known for taking over uh, native birds' nests. They outcompete a lot of birds. They're pretty mean actually, they have this really sharp beak. Like they're kind of a brutal bird. I know especially like uh, ones that birds that nest in cavities, like let's say bluebirds, for instance, uh, they will kick bluebirds, uh, purple martins, and stuff like that out of their nests actually and commandeer their home. So that's the first one. The second one is uh, here at the dairy, they're actually a pretty big issue because they eat the cow's feed, they poop in the cow's feed, and that sometimes leads to the cows, you know, coming exposed to diseases and crap like that. Like it's not good. So that is the main reason. Um, I'm out here uh, is for the dairy's sake uh, and it's a good chance for me to keep tuned up uh, with the old 12 gauge. All right, getting better at remembering guys. Got my ear protection in, got my shot cam, we'll get that turned on. Hopefully the wind's not too bad, I forgot a sock again. And a big shout out to today's sponsor, you guys, because if it wasn't for you guys, there's no way I'd be making videos. Anyway. We got first customers coming by, I thought anyway. Oh, them's all yellow-headed cowbirds. 
all of uh yep yep oh boy gotta be careful uh here in kansas i think everywhere but some people have been trying to tell me that it's not the only things we can shoot year-round bird wise are starlings european starling english house sparrows your feral pigeons and the eurasian collared dove those are illegal year-round no limit no seasons uh there's a few things you can't do but most of me can here in kansas so that's what i'm looking for but today is mainly starlings everything else is protected because there's i mean if blackbirds weren't it would be a whole lot of fun i don't know why they are i think they fall into some songbird act but you know know what you're shooting at now starlings hopefully you guys will be able to see in a shot cam here in a little bit uh they have a very distinct shape to them. So that's what we're looking for. Blackbirds have longer tail and starlings have a pretty short one, really sharp wings. Blackbirds are a little less pointy on the wings and the wing beat is another thing you look for. Ooh. There we go. All right. Here's the first starling. feel so much better I don't know about you guys but just sometimes going out and shooting just shooting oh couldn't get it back on in time ah. those are seagulls <laughs> don't shoot those either here's my starling sometimes just shooting feels good so it gives you a release of some sort at least it does me all right first starling there we are oh they gotta stay smart Will they come back over hope I woke my shot cam up for that last one that footage isn't there. I deeply apologize, guys. I really, really am sorry. I was too busy talking. We got birds coming in. Now I gotta find. Uh, that's a, those are starlings. Nope, nope, nope. Should have shot those first two. Here comes another wave, though. Um, I want to be sure that you. There we go. Woo! Two for two. I shouldn't have said that out loud. I am totally going to miss the rest of them. There we go. Bird number two. All right. What else can the day have? Man, I feel good. Come on, baby. Oh! I waited too long. See what happens when you say how good you're shooting? You do something stupid like miss. I don't even, okay, I care a little bit, but you know. Can't hit them all. That's why we can't go out here and shoot. This is the best way for me, the best way for me to stay in touch for duck season. Like to keep my shooting edge down. Because believe me, starlings are not the easiest thing in the world to shoot. They, they are quick. And those are birds flying over me. That was awesome. None of them were starlings. But anyway, yeah, this is one of my favorite summertime activities. I hope you guys like it because I love doing this coming out here normally during the summer i'll come out here probably two three times a week whether i'm filming or not so anyway let's shoot some more <laughs> hey go birder i got your dinner had a good kitty hey oh wow very pregnant kitty hey i brought you something where are you going oh well hey you want one bird you already have one but now you have two the ones I shoot, I try and bring back for the cats. Because stars are pretty hard to catch, but they do taste delicious to cats. I might do another cat clean cook this year, but I have not yet found a way that I really enjoy starlings. But, first you don't succeed, try try again, right? Behind him, wasn't it? 
It was behind him. Also known as I lose again. Oh, there goes a collared dove. Oh man. And a pigeon. Man, I missed again. See, I said two for two and I went over two. Back to 50%. This is terrible. There we go. All right. Got one. Okay. I think that'll be pretty easy to find, hopefully. They're a lot harder to find in that dirt than what you think. Okay, he landed. I don't think he landed this far out, was he? Oh, there he is. Oh. Huh? There you go. Bird number three. Test me, buddy. I uh, nope. That's a solid 60 yarder. <laughs> nah. There we go. Any other customers? Nope. Oh. He should be over here somewhere. There you are. All right. Number four. No complaints here. Except for missing twice. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a blackbird. Woohoo! All sorts of amped right now. Feeling good. Uh, okay, man. Love being back in the swing of things. Should be right around here. The bales were kind of in my way, so I didn't get a real good mark on him. I don't think he was quite this far. Oh, wow. He was all the way down here. There you go. There we are. What's that, bird five? Ah! What do you guys think? You gotta let me know. You know, should we do some sort of challenge down here? Come on in, guys. Insult to injury. Missed twice. I think I hit him a little bit, but I... Dang it. Got that one. Anybody else? I was gonna go try and go for the double, so I didn't follow through. Now I wish I would've. This one's easy to find. Right in the middle of the cow path. Here we go. Was that six? I've lost count. Been a good day. Hey, collared dove. What's up, buddy? Those are blackbirds. Dang it! I hate missing. Nobody likes missing, but I really do not enjoy it. Especially when I start feeling like I'm back in my groove again. Oh well, I got a couple shells left. All right, it's slowed down a lot. We're gonna see if there's anything here in the commodity barn before. Ooh. All right, 
nothing there, but I got to end on a eh, good note. I got the bird, did take me two shots, but I got him. All right, see if we can find him. I need to pick up these shells and it's getting kind of cold. So we're probably gonna call that good unless there's a bunch more birds coming. Like these guys, you guys seriously gonna do me like this? Okay, all right, that's better. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. All right, the first one's easy enough to find. The second one landed in the grass, so that was gonna be a lot harder. Put in the back of the truck for some cat food. Can I find this one? Stomped around for a little while, couldn't find it. <sighs> hate when that happens. But anyway, we're gonna call that a day. I gotta put a hoodie on though. <sighs> Man, I feel much better now. And the hoodie helped a lot too, because I was getting kind of cool. Um, anyway, there's a little uh, me blowing off some steam at the dairy. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I, I had a good time. Didn't shoot very good, obviously, but I had a good time. So, if you guys, uh, you know, have some ideas for me, I'd really appreciate it. I'm really, well, there's a lot of, well, what I call real life stuff going on right now. So, my upload schedule has been a lot wonky, some of you guys have noticed. Um, but, I thought everything was going up again, stuff went back down. That's the way life is sometimes. You guys get the picture. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, all you guys' help. You guys have got me through some uh, times when I was really, really frustrated. There's a lot of you guys that are doing, doing me good. So anyway, big thanks to you guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you guys know the drill. Uh, that, that little thumbs up button down there, the like button. I would really appreciate it if you hit it. It would really help me out. Um, if you're new and you like what's going on here, I really appreciate a subscription. If not, that's fine too. I appreciate you guys stopping and watching. But maybe I can convince you guys on a later video, uh, you know, that's really worth it. So until then, uh, we'll see you on the next one.